Awesome. So we are live in the Digital Business Accelerator Facebook group. How are you doing, Trev? Doing great. Fantastic. How about you? Doing great. Doing great. Um, in today's weekly training on Fridays, we're going to just be auditing accounts on TikTok and go over different TikTok strategies. This should be about a 30 minute, 45 minute training. Um, so if you guys who are watching have any TikTok questions, drop them. Um, we'll let some more people funnel in. Uh, but we'll, we'll start off with um, our guy here, Jeff, the affiliate. Unfortunately, he could not make it to this call because he is at work, but he did leave us a comment and he wanted us to audit his account. So let's look up Jeff, the affiliate here. We'll share screens in a sec and we'll be able to analyze his, his TikTok here. And for anyone who is watching the replay back and you want an audit, um, we would encourage you to show up to the Q&A next week, Monday, if you can make it during that time, of course, um, and just, just let us know during that live stream, and we would love to give you a, a, a audit there. Right, 1,000%. So I'm just looking at Jeff's account here. Do you want to share your screen? Yes. Let me do that. Share in the screen. So this is Jeff's account. Um, off that, you know, that bio is a little lackluster. It, it, it's in the right direction, but I would love a little bit more detail on exactly how you're helping people sell digital products or what it is that you're doing off that, but nice profile pic. And then you have the word digital marketer in your name. So that's also good for like um, SEO, word, SEO keyword research. Right. Yeah, the, the bio looks decent. Obviously, it would look a lot better there with with a link there, but you know, that, that'll come over time. Um, do you want to pull up his Instagram and in, like after we go through TikTok? Yep, we could do that as well. Cool. All right, so looking at it, uh, my brain is thinking of ideas for business working. Looking at a lot of the stuff I'm looking at here for concerts, $100,000 a week. I would automatically can tell a lot of these videos, I'm assuming besides this one here, a lot of these videos seem to just be trendy videos, which obviously that's what TikTok is a lot about. But if you're really gonna start to build that differentiator in your account, you gotta start providing a little bit more videos of value. Uh, that kind of where you're just in front of the, the, the camera, just skewing out a bunch of high value content. There's no trendy sounds in the back or dancing trend. Um, that's the, the, that first thing I would say there. Yeah, uh, I agree with that. Can you check um, how often he's been posting? Yeah. Because that's going to be key to so, 9 1. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. one per day ish. Mm -hmm. three, yeah. Three day, three day gap, one day, one day, three day gap, one day, one day, one day. Yeah, I, I would encourage. Jeff, when you're if you're watching this back, um, it's probably really difficult to put out three TikToks per day. So I would encourage you to, for the next, let's say two, three days, let, let's set a goal to put out two TikToks both days or every day for those three days. If you can do that, I think, I think honestly, a lot of your content is um, growth focused, but that's not necessarily a bad thing in the beginning. Um, so honestly for you, the biggest thing is just posting more, man. Right. The biggest thing is that it, that's going to start making you more money, start scaling your business faster, start hitting those four figure months. Um, it's just posting more, man. And I could be wrong, but I'm almost 1000% certain that these videos right here are from Instagram. I'm assuming you took the content from your Instagram and uploaded to TikTok. Um, and I, I think that's in the grand scheme of things fine, like you're getting views on your video. Um, so I think you should be good on that end. Um, but, you know, if you ever see videos getting like zero to like 50 views, um, it might not be a bad idea to create the whole video inside of TikTok and then repost it on Instagram instead. But it seems like what you're doing right now is working. Right, right. Yeah, it's looking solid so far. Yeah, man. Um, post enough more content definitely is going to help you. You haven't uh, posted too much, but as we can see that you have good potential to grow your account here. Just uh, keep posting and, and just try to do those high value videos. Just talk in front of the camera, 
here is a little bit of a, a backstory on how I got started or something along those lines. Yeah, can you uh, pull up his Instagram? Yep. Can you see here? Yep. Awesome. Helping young adults build passive income. Um, I would I would encourage you to take that partnered with business inclusive out of there. He probably told you that it makes it it makes you look more professional, but really that's illogical. Um, it's probably actually you know losing professionality from you and taking he he might be pulling some of your potential buyers away from you so i would encourage you to take that line out but other than that i think this looks pretty solid dm affiliate looks good earn your first a thousand here that's kind of like the copy that legendary uses to teach you how to get a high ticket in 15 days so i think overall that's pretty good all right and as far as content, I would have refrained from these type of motivational videos only because they they have no relation to who you are and you're trying to sell a product, not trying to motivate people. By the way, is my mic working good? Just yeah. making sure. Okay. Yep, mic's working fine. Yep. So I would have refrained from these motivational videos. I mean, you can see that you've posted, uh, I think, three of these motivation or maybe four of these motivational videos. Three out of the four times it did subpar. So 95, 98. This might be a motivational video. Um, and I see that you're saying I'm not the original owner, but why not just make the video yourself? Why just take someone else's? Just make your own, you know? Um, but then we have a video of you literally saying something along the lines of my brain thinking of idea for business, and it has 5,000 views, 118 likes. So people like that personal character and that personal relationship. I know this video, it did decent. Uh, it did pretty well, actually, and it's a motivational video, but I would harper more on just these videos won't get you sales. They just won't. No one's right. going to be like, yeah, bro, that's great. Now let me go click the link in your bio and buy whatever it is. That no one's going to do that. So, Like, think about it, right? If, if people want to hear motivational quotes from Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, they would go to their Instagram and follow them instead. Um, you kind of want to be that unique differentiation. I think, honestly, what you're doing right now is pretty good overall. Um, I would encourage you to do a tiny bit of tweaks that we mentioned earlier, but I think the biggest thing you can focus on right now is just posting a little bit more, man. Yeah. Through and through, you're doing all right, but, you know, this video of yourself, over 2,000 views. This video of yourself, over 3,000 views. This video of yourself, over 3,000 views. 5,000 up here, 1,000 over here, 1,000, 3,000, 3,000. Like, Solid. Like your videos that have, with only 100 followers, 133 followers, your videos of yourself do a lot better. So. And I think if you posted just a little bit more and you started to really push towards that like 300 to 500 follower mark, I think you would hit a huge snowball effect with Instagram and you could blow up pretty fast at that. Yeah. Um, while we're here, we'll just take a look at this funnel as well. Um, let's take a look here. Okay. So, Basic legend. Oh, so he's using the the double video method here. Nice, nice. Um, cool. A lot of information on the first page. A lot of information on the first page. It's this side is probably not part mobile optimized, right? Let me let me find out. Um, inspect. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Solid. The button's in the middle-ish, top-ish of the page. So that's good. I would okay, and you do throw another button down here. Okay, good. Nice. That looks good, man. That that'll that'll convert. Yeah. You can obviously split test it and make it even more perfect, but this this will sell. Yeah. Well, it's just see. just about getting more eyeballs into your system right now. Honestly. Yep. Nice warm welcoming photo again. Video. That's a yourself. little bit off center. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. Say it's fine. Let's see how this looks on mobile. Wait, is there two? Whoops. I'm not trying to hack your page. Is there two videos here? Am I tripping? Oh, no. It's because, oh, Picture he has a feature. Video. He has a feature where when you scroll down, the video stays at the top of the page on ClickFunnels. Cool. Uh, um, let's go back to mobile. It's it's centered on mobile, just not on website. So Which just make that, sure. That'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be right. Nice. Good job, good job. Oh, this though, I would, I would, I would not do this. This uh, opt-in yeah. page, capture yeah. page. Yeah, because it, it's still gonna... sell. 
it, is it, it gonna ask make... for another email you see now you're yeah, asking for another email so that's like yeah i would just do straight the straight to the video i would i would yeah it. um in legendary for uh um for jeffrey or jeff um i, I would go into where you capture that affiliate link and you can actually scroll down to the fourth option it should be the sales page one and we you can use that link instead it'll it'll kind of have a sales video instead of this additional opt-in and it, it might convert a little bit more but right you know it, it'll probably convert 10 percent better or so so there, there's a there's a handful of things that are like small things that we can definitely uh work on but right the, i think the biggest thing still is the content just posting more men because truthfully you can have a you can have a pretty dinged up system and just post a lot of content and still sell fine obviously over time you'd want to refine that but right now i think you should focus on posting a little bit more and then as you go starting to fix a couple of these little hiccups all right all right next up on the audit account is affiliate grandma um let's take a look here you can see my screen right Trev? yep all right guiding you to financial independence tab to get started i would be a little bit more clear um that sounds very broad uh but you know that's that's this call to action is is good but you're saying guiding to financial independence what exactly are you how are you doing that yeah i would add just another line right there in the bio like right under or right above that one saying like you know maybe you help them guide to financial independence using online businesses or starting beginner friendly businesses or something along those lines right um yeah so the the bio of every account on tiktok and instagram they hold some weight right i'm not gonna sit here and say they will be the the death of you but you know you should take it um seriously because i i was an individual that i didn't really care much about a bio but you really start to realize that people look at that first that's the first thing they see away from your profile photo so um definitely what trev said is a good recommendation uh can you check out instagram yep pulling that up right now cool. and as far as content uh, i don't know if you are aware elizabeth but you know high value videos it seems like you have some videos that do well um you know if you're going to do side hustle videos just keep them to bare minimum you don't want to ex make that your whole entire page because people won't buy off of that uh, or rarely will buy after that but high value content now let's move over to can instagram. you check um how often Yes. Really quick. We'll go to like right here. 721. Just click through it like super fast. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's pretty good. Pretty solid for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. Even encourage you to post two to three times a day. But if that's not possible, obviously it's not possible. Mm -hmm. um, but if you do have the time and the, the, uh, the buffer there, uh, we would recommend that you post two, three times a day. Right. Now we're here to Instagram, getting you financially free, DM me info to get started, click to start making money. So again, I would probably have like something um, a little bit more specific and just another keyword thing. So this is actually really new. Instagram just implemented an update to the search engine in the search bar. So now SEO matters even more. So I would put like something along the lines of digital or affiliate marketing in your name as well, just when people type that in then your account is more likely to get pulled up kind of like youtube okay so you have some story highlights motivation q a lifestyle of my story nice 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 um let's take a look at reels here okay so it seems like most of your reels are also what's on tiktok and vice versa um i like this series right here important tools for your online business keep that up um this is the number one reason way to make money online i like that as well but yeah keep this series up one and two i know i didn't get the most amount of views but that's that's a good series i like that can right you check the grid posts yes and it looks like you have a pretty decent following right now so um you're, you're probably really starting like especially if you keep going hard on uh reels you'll probably start hitting a stride pretty soon here with growing on instagram um but these kind of infographics are decent if you really want to keep going with infographics, I would recommend, um, and you you kind of did this anyways, going away from these motivational ones with just a quote there um, and using those high value ones. Those are pretty decent. 
Um, obviously, you can turn them into what Alex does, which is carousels. Um, but I would also encourage you to, if you if you post a really good reel on Instagram, throw that on your grid too. Um, that that'll help out a lot. Right. Yeah. Um, again, it's like that whole motivational type of content. Like it's nice to supplement your content here and there with motivation. But if I go and land on your page here, I know I could go to the reels tab, but let's say I'm just scrolling through the grid. I don't see any indication that you are going to help me make money online with affiliate marketing. Like and there's this, just too many people doing motivational stuff, honestly. Yeah. And this kind of like motivational grid stuff was good like four or five years ago, but now this is just played out. It's just like, we've seen it a dime a dozen and it's no, it's not unique and you're not going to be able to sell someone else's product by looking like everyone else. So uniqueness is, is, is very important. Uh, but I think you start doing carousels, uh, you know, start little, posting those reels on the grid reels on the grid to um, definitely help. I'll take a look at my account, but stuff like this, like a nice, a nice picture of yourself. You don't have to design it like crazy. Just go on Canva and design them for free, but just provide some value like that. Motivational stuff is nice, but does it really provide value? Does it leave you with substance at the end of the day here and there? Yes, but you want to make sure you're doing them consistently. Um, another great post. Um, just provide value on what you know, whatever it is, you know. Just go out there. Carousels are taking over. They're dominating. Just find a way to make it unique. Throwing a picture of yourself is one of the most easiest way to to stand out and look unique. So, um, just a, a, some food for thought there. And while we're here, let's take a look at your funnel. Uh, I believe it's this one's your funnel. I believe. Let's take a look here. Okay, so the standard legendary one. Yeah, it, solid. It, it'll sell. It'll work yeah. for sure that is solid yeah nice picture of yourself that's always good um you know you got a picture of yourself here maybe test a, a video a bridge page video split test that but if if everything is going well um then you're good to go yeah we would encourage you to film a basic bridge page video but if it, it's not like the top priority it'll it'll just be something that'll help you out right nice Got the testimonials there. Nice, nice, nice. Looks yeah. good. Perfect. Uh, do we have any more audits in there? Nope. Uh, we got three people watching. If you guys, um, if you guys want a uh, social media audit or like a funnel audit or an email sequence audit or just literally anything, um, comment right here in the Facebook group chat, and we'd love to help you do so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for for people watching the live back, again, if you guys want to um, have an audit and you're not you're not here for the live, that's okay. We recommend you show up Monday or next week Friday, depending on the training that we do. Um, yeah. So let's get into Pinterest now. We got a question about Pinterest. Pinterest. Yep. So, um, assuming that you want to post your videos on Pinterest, we would have you where we would encourage you actually you you kind of have to if you want to post on pinterest um to create a business account so that's kind of the first step once you create that business account um you'll have all these features that alex is kind of highlighting um but you will have the opportunity to post what are called idea pins and these idea pins are it, it's their form of videos um so once you once you set up a business account you can then, um, you know, use your idea pins for videos. And we would recommend that you create one or two boards maximum and just put your videos on the boards. Right. So Pinterest won't allow you to actually upload an idea pin unless you put it in like a folder or what they call it boards. Right. So you can literally just title the board affiliate marketing and just throw all your videos in there or make money online or online business and throw them all in there. Uh, but yeah, it's super easy. Just create a business account 100% free. Once you create that business account, you'll have the opportunity to upload the short form video content on Pinterest called idea pins. And actually, if I go to the business hub right here, or if I go to home feed right here, um, you have a for you and a today. And as you can see here, this is what the explore page would look like. Um, and it's just a bunch of free videos. 
Now, in a piece of advice for anyone making idea pins, it helps to have the title or the keywords or whatever you're you're making your video about, like somewhere in the video. So this lady right here is how I made 30k selling shirts with zero to start. That sounds interesting. If I was interested in that, I'd probably click it and watch it right now. Um, so that's just a, some food for thought there. Um, and Pinterest is a search engine, so people like can have 20 to 30 followers, but get a lot of monthly views, thousands of monthly views, if you have the right keyword. So we can see here, here's a video from Trevor, how I built my <laughs> first 9K month from home. So that sounds interesting. Let me go click on that video. Um, and then it's a it's a short 60 second video. And yeah, so there's even a comment on this video here too, it seems like. So um, yeah. So that's it. Business account, idea pins. You don't have to worry about regular pins. They don't get the organic reach as much. Um, once you build a following, you will be able to see that your your regular pins can do that. But you get... you can you can definitely go the the um, you know regular pins route. It's just going to be like a lot more difficult to right. be completely transparent. Um, and you're already creating videos on TikTok and Instagram, so you know. Yeah. it doesn't take much harm out of your way to just post them on IG too. Exactly. Exactly. So this is like the for you page. It's scattered. I'm kind of interested to see how this looks like on um, mobile. Interested. Oh, wow. Oh yeah. So it's like this. So you just scroll and click on stuff. So yeah, that is, that is Pinterest. So, and then as far as your, your profile, um, keep your, you can make a banner on Canva up to you. Um, and you also want to make sure your bio is web optimized or mobile optimized. Um, That's the biggest part with Pinterest. Yeah. So sure. Pinterest does it. It's a little weird on Pinterest as far as getting people to your bio. So you want to make sure when people do click on your account and your profile that they see a clear call to action directing them to a specific link. And as you can see here, my call to action is tap the link to start your online business. And it, it literally has an arrow pointing to that link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. That that's that. That's the. And setting up the bio is kind of like finicky for some reason. So just play around with it, and you can figure out something that looks good. Right, right. And these are my boards for people wondering, like, what what are boards? So again, they're just like folders. You can throw your videos in there, um, and as you can see, there you go. And then they make like recommendations and stuff like that of other content. Yeah, so, and then while we're here. Dang, that one that one blew up right there. This one right here, right? <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> 200K impressions. I was about to look, look right now. So another thing, another reason why you should be using Pinterest here is uh, if we go to audience conversions, audience insights. So Pinterest is so important because it targets the US primarily. So we can see here, most people from my following is gonna be from the US. And if we look at the age demographic, which is up here, you can see the average individual is age 25 to 34, which is the prime target for a lot of our Make Money Online affiliate products. So that is a good market to be in. So definitely utilize Pinterest. Yeah. And then for my females out there that are doing women specific things, Pinterest, you have to be on here. More than half of Pinterest users are female. Um, and then the other half is unspecific. <laughs> I can't even pronounce this word. Not even like they don't even have males. There's other genders as well. So definitely be using Pinterest if you have a female product or service as well. For sure. That being said, um, Pinterest, any other questions on that or any questions in general, drop them. And we'll be more than happy to help you with that. We got a um, audit from Jessica, actually. Hey, one of our one of our fan favorites. How's it going, Jess? Let's um, let's throw that in if there. You wanna? Yeah. Get that dialed in. Let's start off on on Instagram. Actually, I believe she does both Instagram and TikTok. So let's start off on Instagram here. Cool. Um, Jess is is chugging along, almost at a thousand Instagram followers. Um, 10k in 30 days is an affiliate affiliate marketer dm you learn to start earning mentored by ooh, you got a mentor interesting and then start your online business today um interesting interesting i like the seo seo is so important these days got affiliate marketers straight in your your name um and then you kind of have some social proof dm you start learning good call to action there 
What do you think? Uh, um, yeah. Uh, is there any reason like why you have that mentored by in there? Just curious. Um, you know, it's, it's not like really going to hurt you, but it might confuse your audience a little bit because they're looking up to you as the mentor. So if they see mentored by someone else, they're going to just go to their page and want to buy from them instead. Yeah. So if possible, I would encourage you to take that out. Obviously like we can't force you to, if you want to keep that in there, that's okay. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming this is the guy there. I just clicked on the link. So this is a guy there. Um, interesting, but I don't think he really offers anything that you align to. So being mentored by that individual is probably you know good for you, but having it in your bio, I don't really see the relevance there, right? Put something more relevant that's going to help you more. This is helping hit this guy more than it's helping you, you know, because no one really knows who this guy is in particularly. So it's like, oh, cool, you got a mentor, but how is that going to help me? You know, so yeah. And then everything else looks good. Other than that, yeah. Um, we would encourage you to post just a little bit more of your reels on your grid. Um, like the most recent one is good. You posted that onto your grid. Um, I would encourage you to post a little bit more onto the grid though, for sure. Um, especially videos. Yeah. I mean, from what I've heard, it doesn't ultimately, I think they get viewed all the same, but you know, it definitely helps when people are scrolling through your account and they say, Oh, look this video right here. Cause especially when you have the text like this, um, people are going to be more inclined to click on that. So yeah, like Trev said, definitely helps. Well, yeah. And it's just like one of those things that it doesn't matter too much now, but as your following grows, your followers are going to be scrolling through your main page, not necessarily your reels. Mm -hmm. So when they see the video on there, you know, you'll get more views, more, more trust built, more seven hour rule, more money, more, more closes all that so yeah i think alex is lagging out <laughs> i'm not 100 percent sure but i think alex is lagging out i'm waiting to see it on the replay uh, Jessica says he told me to put that in. Um, did he give you like a strong reasoning why? Because I feel like that's honestly uh, taking away sales from you. Yeah, I think Alex is <laughs> Alex is gone. It's interesting. Um, I'll go ahead and continue on. Yeah, Jessica, honestly, like I think your content is good. There's a few things that we could tweak up. Like I would encourage you to um, post some of your videos on the grid page. But that mentor thing, if you want to let me know if there was like a specific reasoning why he told you to put that in. Um, because from what I've heard, it's like they tell you, because we've actually had a lot of like people who asked us about this. They tell you it, it makes them look a lot more professional. That's kind of what they they tell you. But I feel like honestly, it could be hurting you. No reason, just told me to. Yeah. He might be just doing it for uh, his his personal his personal gain. I'm not sure why Alex is gone though. <laughs> that was interesting. Um, if anyone else wants an audit while I'm on here, go ahead and comment in the Facebook group. Let us know. I'll try to get Alex back on the line. Can you check out my IG, Make Money With Laner? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Boom, boom. Okay. So you can see this, hopefully. Um, you got this in there, which is great. I would encourage you to um, like press enter right here and press enter right here so that it has like a line and then another line and then another line in the link um, instead of kind of like spaced out like this, if that makes sense. Um, oh, I noticed huh. that you don't have a funnel. Oh, you're back. What's up, man? Okay. 
Was it still? Is it? Are we still live and everything? We are still live, dude. My Zoom was like updating. I don't know. I didn't know that was even possible. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just doing a, a brief audit of Lanier in the okay. Facebook group. Sweet. So if, if you want to add anything to this, I told them already that we we recommend like pressing enter in between these so mm. that it's kind of more spaced out. And then I I clicked on his link and he actually doesn't have a funnel, which mm -hmm. is okay for now. But we would encourage you as your following grows and as your brand grows to eventually build that own funnel. Um, so you can build your own email list and your own kind of, you know, your own brand doing that. And you can also have a bridge page, which will make a lot more sense because if you think about it, right, someone's watching your videos and then they're like, oh, I'm going to press this link and I'm going to learn how to start affiliate marketing. And then they see this random guy, right? So we can event we we would have you eventually setting up that funnel but for now it's okay and in terms of some of these posts um do you want to talk about this a little alex yeah um you know we we are a strong believer in that kind of infographic type of stuff for for the marketing is ultimately useless i'll be just brutally honest here because that's what you guys are here for like it's it's useless no one's going to look at that that infographic of elon um or jeff there and just be like yeah i'm, I'm gonna buy whatever this guy's selling it's just the fact of the matter it's not unique. these videos are what's gonna that's sell. what's gonna sell right that, those are, that's ultimately what's gonna sell um if you just think about it take a step back and think my goal here is to provide as much value using my own voice and my own image to these individuals so they feel like they're more confident enough to buy whatever i'm offering building that trust i can't trust you lanyard if i'm seeing jeff bezos and, and elon musk so and my recommendation to everyone is to go on canva for free and create carousels on your own right you you don't need to be some some guru or you don't need to be a graphic had a designer question about that too um yeah so i actually was getting ready to answer that um go on there and i'll share my screen if you want or, or trev if you want to just pull up canva and type in carousel there's so many templates already. You can All you have to do it because I, I don't have like anything on Canva. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I don't think um, I least. So you literally go to this website here, canva.com. Go into carousel, just go into the search bar, type in carousel. You can still hear me, right? Right? Yep. Okay. Go into the search bar, type in carousels. Carousels are one post, but with multiple photos. And as you can see here, if I hover over, this post has one of five. This one has one of five. This one has one of six. So I'll go to this one right here that says free. This literally is a perfect You have perfect to make sure it's free. free. Unless you want to pay. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. This one right here is free. I would swap this individual out and I would put three ways to become a minimalist. I would say three ways, three ways to make money with affiliate marketing boom boom that's it you put yourself here you swap that out and now you scroll down step one you 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 give a good explanation step two step three boom that's it again flip take this lady out put yourself in boom that's a carousel that that's it so everyone should be using carousels yep. because it personalizes instagram your instagram feed a lot more I personally don't do the carousel route, but my carousels are in my videos. So like I branded my IG just a little bit different where I focus only on just video form content. But if you don't want to just have videos on your page, we definitely encourage you to do the carousels. Right. And, and I was just going to um, share this real quick. There are individuals like this guy that I'm going to switch here. Uh, oops, right one. you're lagging Tyler out. Tyler Wise, whenever my internet's that, that makes sense. Um, poor internet service. Nope, like that is enough. What'd you say? I I kind of heard you. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I think you're good now. It might okay. be like, I cool. think it's like delayed. So like if, you can hear my voice like two seconds after I say it. 
Oh, that's that's weird. Um, I'll check mine in, in a sec here. But I was just going to quickly say, and you can add to this, Trevor. Um, Tyler yeah. Wise here, great example of an individual that does not use carousels, does not use pictures. He's just straight videos. And it works. it's working great for him. Video content is king. Um, so if this is a strategy you want to use as well, feel free. Um, he does do some side hustle videos and other stuff as well. But he does have videos like top three tools for viral TikToks. So he provides a lot of video content that's all informational and high value. So that's another technique as well. Yep, hundred um, percent. You really have like two choices when branding and Instagram. Make it all about you, uh, or you know have a couple. I mean, not it, it's going to be all. It should be all about you regardless. So you can pick between doing kind of this style where it's all videos and lives, or doing the kind of split carousel video type. Right. Lanier says, "Crazy, you guys say that I just." made an uh, a pinterest account last week with just videos and it has done way better than tiktok and ig yeah yeah um pinterest is a lot more rewarding especially in the beginning stages of like the social media um like you'll find out that over time ig and tiktok will definitely catch up to pinterest but for now i mean yeah i, I would go crazy on pinterest and really maximize that How do I place neatly in in my grids? Um, you know, there's no technique or strategy. You don't have to have it all organized and look beautiful. Just as long as you're posting, like you have a strategy. You're not just posting just to post. I would recommend you post one carousel, two videos, right? If you're if you're gonna do carousels, if you just wanna do videos like Trevor had alluded to, feel free. Uh, but have a have a strategy. And what will end up happening? I don't know exactly the 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 what you mean by that question, but I'm assuming, you know, you want a, a grid that looks appeasing and nice. Here's an example of one of our clients here. Um, Josh, he literally just, it's, it's care. It's, it's video carousel video. And, and this is his, this is his, his profile. This is how his grid looks video carousel video. Um, you know, at one point I was doing video, video care. Just follow pattern. So, so, so it looks neatly You're nice lagging, follow yeah. pattern. Will this is it is it bad? It's not bad anymore, I don't think. <laughs> okay. Hopefully the lag will, will stop. There's a lot of people in my house right now, so maybe internet's just the bandwidth it can't handle this. But um ultimately I'll just say this quickly. Uh just post in a pattern. So video, carousel video, you can do video, video, carousel, carousel video, video. Like up to you. Um just posting in a pattern will allow your grid to look like one specific method. Will this now allow him to make you know a whole bunch more money not necessarily but you know it's just it's the aesthetic looks nice it's up to you though it's up it doesn't really it's not gonna destroy your account if it's not in organized fashion so just post it in order yep 100 percent I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my internet man am i good now internet i think, like, I think you're good on? now if anyone has any other questions, drop them in awesome. the Facebook group chat. Um, otherwise, we'll wrap this show up pretty soon here. Yeah, before my internet, my computer blows up. <laughs> um, I want to say this to everyone. While if anyone has any questions, drop them. But um, I want to say this too before we head out here in a little bit. Um, I see Lanny has a question, so we'll answer that in a second. I just want to say that your um your content and your your funnels and your your pages should all be about you. Uh, make sure, like, I know you guys got handed a lot of resources, and that's great. Be able to look at those resources and find a way to personalize that just a little bit because people come off a dime a dozen, and they look all the same. So find that way to, to distinguish yourself. I know you're new. A lot of you guys are new to this industry, and you're handed certain tools that you feel as if you should just use, and that's okay. Definitely use them in the beginning stages. But as you start to develop and grow as entrepreneurs, find ways to personalize your message, your copywriting, and your, your pages and stuff. Definitely. Uh, Lanier says, should I get the funnel up now? Um, it depends. Like, do you have the funnel built already? If you do, we, we, we would recommend getting it up right now. Um, if you don't have it fully built or there's a few pieces that you still need to work on, you can just keep that legendary link in there for now. Right. It, it should be a placeholder, Lanier, but go and be proactive. If you have time on your hands, go build the funnel. 
you look at if you don't know how to build a funnel um legendary i do believe has some training but you can just look at the long list of uh people's funnels and see what is doing well um and there's we've i've made a tutorial i believe trevor has made it have you made a funnel did you end up posting that click funnels tutorial or no Mm -mm. okay well there's plenty of resources out there that will show you how to build a funnel if you're really struggling shoot trevor and myself a dm um we'll be able to help you with that as well um shoot us a dm on facebook and on instagram we, we bounce um back between the two so if you're not getting us on one platform message us on the other elizabeth says walk us through youtube shorts please have you heard of it or use clapper so we have both heard of clapper um and it's it's honestly not really much um i wouldn't spend a lot of your time with clapper you you can you can do yeah. absolutely great with uh legendary or selling your own product without using clapper and in terms of like youtube shorts like you can i would create a separate youtube account and if you want you can post on youtube shorts it's a very similar process to posting a reel or a TikTok or a pinterest idea pin um but from our testing, YouTube Shorts has been fairly slow. And um, I mean, you can try it out for sure, but we personally aren't really going to be doing much with YouTube Shorts. Yeah, I mean, that's our results. Your results might be the complete opposite. You might blow up and go crazy on YouTube Shorts. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're essentially what's really going to help you grow and get those sales is just the relationship building and rapport building. Like just being in front of all of these on these all these platforms is nice, but you're 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 gonna be like a, a chicken with with their head cut off. You're just gonna be posting. Oh, I gotta post today. I gotta post today. It's really should be involving a lot of your time in rapport building because we know people that are literally only on Facebook and make six figures a year because they're building those relationships. They're getting six figures a end. month. <laughs> they're, they're, yeah, yeah, six figures a month even. Um. And they're getting in those relationships and building those uh, those foundations and messaging people every single day, hosting events like we're hosting now, providing value within their own community. If you don't have a Facebook group, man, I, I, I would highly recommend it because it's so important to build a trusting community that loves and abides by you and looks up to you. Um, and that's where you can hone in and, and connect with people day in and day out, see what their problems are, see how you can help them. Because to get paid 2000 3000 4000 you need to be able to have people's trust. It's not easy parting away with that type of money unless someone trusts you. So, Definitely. All right. I think that's a good kind of place to wrap it up. Let me make sure there's... No oh, we didn't go over shorts um, or how to upload up shorts. Oh, no, you did. You said um, create a separate account. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I hope, that, uh, I hope that answers that. Can a person get set up with a tablet or will they have to have a laptop? Uh, for shorts no you could just you could do it on a tablet i i she might be asking just get set up in general like with funnels and all I, that oh okay honestly with well funnels, let's answer both questions so laptop. i yeah i don't know any way you could do it without a laptop because there's certain things you're gonna have to do um so setting up affiliate marketing business you need a laptop if you're talking about just shorts though um, for legendary, she says, yeah. So yeah, um, you're gonna need a computer. If your tablet has like a keyboard, like a, a Bluetooth keyboard that can connect, you just need a keyboard. Um, and I believe there's certain like things that you won't allow be allowed to use. Like for example, like click funnels. I don't know if you can even use that on a tablet. Might be able so, to. Uh, from from our experience, a computer is like you must absolutely use a computer. But if you can do it without one um let us know <laughs> yeah all Definitely. right um other than that guys appreciate you guys tuning in today we will be posting on sunday what our events for next week are and we got a lot of cool things coming um for next week so stay tuned for that but i mean other than that i think alex is lagged out right now <laughs> which is funny but um other than that, everyone take care. I think you're good actually, but your your uh your picture is lagged out. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Other than that, guys, appreciate you guys hopping in.